Beware the wolf in sheep's clothing. Those of us who have been around for any amount of time or for a long time have undoubtedly encountered a wolf, at least one wolf in sheep's clothing throughout our life and throughout our career. Um, oftentimes, we women fall for the charming man who appears to be harmless and turns out to be pretty darn dangerous. Um, a lot of times we encounter the wolf in our business lives, in our you know, dealings with vendors or relationships or regulatory agencies, you know, or in consulting situations. Um, I've been in businesses and in corporations where consultants come in and they come in with this smiling faces and this, oh, we're here to just make your organization better. Never fear. Nobody's going to lose their jobs, da, 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 with this song and dance that you know darn well, that's a that's exactly what's going to happen whenever an organization that I've worked for, and I've worked for some of the biggest corporations on the planet, bring in outside consultants. It, it indicates change and change for outside consultants. Almost always one of the first go to things is to shift around staff, kill off a whole lot of staff and departments and get rid of people because people are usually the biggest expense for any organization. Almost every business on the planet with you know there's there's exceptions to that of course in different industries where they have really high r d um, but usually labor is the one of the biggest expenses in an organization so the quickest easiest thing for an outside person to cut is oh we can make this more efficient by bringing in robots we had robots brought in when i worked in manufacturing organizations we've had um different people brought in to reorganize and, and sometimes I was that person that had to come in and reorganize and change things and make sure they were more efficient and more effective. Um, and I, I always had good motives, but I'm sure some people thought that my motives weren't good at times. Now, I don't think I've ever been accused of being a wolf in sheep's clothing. Pretty much I was always, hey, what you see is what you get. Yep, we're going to have changes. I don't know what they're going to be. We'll work on them together. We'll figure them out. But chances are everybody isn't going to be here when all the all the dust settles um, <laughs> I remember a lot of situations where we'd have outside auditors that and regulators that would come in in the different organizations that I worked for and then in the different companies that I've run um, I've been in the food industry for gosh, almost four decades and there's a lot of regulation from outside agencies in that industry there's the USDA there's OSHA there's the FDA there's the departments of agriculture there's local inspection agencies, there's, you know, municipalities have their own health inspectors and things. And all of those regulators come in with smiles on their faces, acting like they are just there to help you, especially USDA audits, just FYI, or AIB audits, or um, quality audits and system audits. And Yes, they, they really are. If you look at it, hey, if they point things out that I miss, that's awesome because they are here to help us be better. But a lot of times, some of those people are not the nicest people. They're not the most uh, fun people to work with because they do have this power trip going on. They've got this thing where they know that they can shut you down if they find one thing that's wrong. Now, lucky for me, I was in quality for you know a couple of decades before I actually was running just my own businesses. So I wasn't afraid of auditors and I used to do audits. So I knew what to look for, what to expect. And I set up my systems and procedures in my company so that they would always be more than compliant, more than anyone could ever expect or inspect in, on an inspection of my, my businesses and my organizations. And I always did that on purpose because I, number one, I knew I wanted to do the right thing. Number two, because it sucks to get shut down or get a bad grade from a regulatory organization. Think back into school and you know, if you ever failed anything or failed a test or failed anything in school, how bad that felt. Well, it feels even worse when it's a big organization and there's lots of people dependent on the grade that you get. Um, so realize that everybody isn't who they appear to be. You know, like I said, think of Red Riding Hood, the Red Riding Hood story. It's like, you know, and we, can we be fooled? We absolutely can be fooled. You know, we like to think that we see through people and see through things. But whenever I get duped or fooled or fall for somebody's nonsense that I remind, I'm reminded of a saying my dad would always say, I never met a con man that I didn't like. And that just reminds me that 
everybody is an awesome good people we hope to attract all good people to us but they they aren't everybody doesn't have the same values and goals that that i do and that you do so just be aware of that that and ask more questions be you know put on your spidey senses put on your intuition and really pay attention to everything that's going on not just what you see on the surface and that is how you can be aware of a wolf in sheep's clothing protect your business protect yourself protect your life and you know have a lot less negative situations than than you'd like i mean i think we've all had employees that were wolves in sheep's clothing a lot of us have had bosses and co-workers that were actually wolves in sheep's clothing some of us have even had spouses that were wolves in sheep's clothing so you never know what you might fall for so just be aware and take care of yourself and your business that's it i will of course be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom and expression and how that impacts our businesses and our thinking in our life just to give us a slightly different perspective on things all right catch you tomorrow bye